Another interesting thing about the RLC circuit, that being the resistor, capacitor, inductor circuit, is that if you change the input waveform from a sine wave to a square wave, and you change the input frequency to about one-tenth of the resonant frequency, you get kind of an interesting pattern. This is analogous to the ringing, ringing of a bell. So if we were to look at the input waveform, we'd see that it's a square wave. It looks like this. And if we look at the output waveform, we see that it's a, kind of a ringing circuit, what it's referred to as. And so what this means is it's like taking a tuning fork and thumping it ever so often, like this. And every time we thump it, it's like part of that square wave where it jumps up or jumps down. So here's the ringing part of that circuit. So this right here is the natural frequency of the circuit. And it turns out that no matter what frequency we dial in, the distances between these two peaks in the ringing part of the circuit is going to remain the same. So there's frequency independent. So just by measuring the peak to peak distance right there horizontally, we can figure out what the natural period is and then therefore take one over the period to find the natural frequency of this RLC circuit.